So let's take a look at the following three molecules, our sugar molecules, and our goal is to basically describe the Fischer projection of each one of these sugar molecules. And let's begin with sugar molecule number one. Now actually before we look at the first molecule, let's notice that each one of these molecules is described in an energy minimum form. So each one of these stereochemistries represents the lowest in energy form. But recall that the Fischer projection actually describes an energy minimum so or I'm sorry an energy maximum so before we actually describe the Fischer projection we have to transform each one of these stereochemistries into an energy maximum and let's begin with the first one Notice that the primary alcohol and the aldehyde group, the two largest groups on our molecule, point away from one another. And that's exactly why this is an energy minimum. Now, if we rotate this bond, then our two large groups, the aldehyde and the primary alcohol, will point towards one another. And that represents an energy uh, maximum. So let's rotate these two bonds and we get the following molecules. So we have our carbon, we have our OH pointing out of the board, we have our H pointing into the board, then we have the carbon-carbon bond here, carbon-carbon bond here. Now when we rotate this 180 degrees, this primary alcohol basically ends up pointing to the bottom. So we have this CH2OH group. Now we have this basically pointing this way, we have our uh, COH, and now these basically point in the same direction. This is why this is called an energy maximum, while this is an energy minimum. Now, when we rotate this this way, this OH will point out of the board. So we have our OH pointing out of the board, the H point into the board. Here, the OH will also point out of the board, so we have our OH pointing out of the board and the H will point into the board when we rotate this this way. Um, so we have our H pointing this way. So not only are these two large groups basically sterically hinder one another because they're large and they're in close proximity, but these groups also play a role to basically increase the energy because of the close proximity. And so this is our energy minimum while this is the energy maximum. And now using this, we can basically transform this into our Fischer projection our two-dimensional. Actually, let's begin with the three-dimensional Fischer projection and then let's move on to our two-dimensional Fischer projection. So basically, these two groups will point downward. So if we're looking at the molecule going this way, so basically our eye should be right here. It's looking downward. So we have these two groups at the end that will point inward. So we have our group pointing inward here. Now this is our carbon here, so let's draw the carbon here. And then we have this group, if we're looking this way, the H here will be coming out of the board and our OH will be coming out of the board. So this is our H, this is our OH. Then we have our second bond here, so we're looking this way, this OH will also basically point into this direction and our uh, H will be pointing this way and if we look down here this also points in this direction so here we also have our OH uh, that points to the left and this H will point to the right and finally we have this which also points downward just like this one so we have CH to OH. Now we can describe our two-dimensional Fischer projection by simply doing this. We have our COH here, we have a long kind of line here, we have our CH2OH, and then we simply have our OH here, our H here, we have our OH here, OH here, an H here, and an H here, so we draw our lines, and basically this is carbon number one, carbon number two, carbon number three, carbon number four, carbon number five, and these are our groups.
So this is how we go from an energy minimum three-dimensional diagram to the two-dimensional fissure, proje fissure projection of our molecule. So let's go on to the second one. So once again, notice that this is an energy minimum because all these large groups basically point away from one another. So the first basically goal is to transform this from an energy minimum three-dimensional diagram to an energy maximum three-dimensional diagram. So let's rotate these bonds 180 degrees as we rotate it in this case. So we have our carbon, so we have our H coming out of the board, we have the OH going into the board, then these two carbons basically don't change. Uh, but when we rotate, this ends up pointing downward. So let's draw it this way, CH2OH. Let's draw this one here. Then when we rotate this this way, this will point into the board. So we have our OH pointing into the board and the H will point out of the board. Here, the H is pointing out of the board. So when we rotate it, the H will point into the board while the OH, which is pointing out of the board when we rotate, it will pop out of the board. So we have our OH. So this is the energy maximum three-dimensional drawing. Now let's draw the Fisher projection using our wedges, using, using our three-dimensional depiction. So once again, we're looking at it this way, downward. So when we look downward, we see that these two groups basically point into the board. So we're going to have our wedges. So let's draw our first wedge which is going into the board, and this is our COH group. Then we have our carbon. So when we look this way, the OH here will point this way, the H will point this way. So we have our uh, OH pointing to the left, and we have our H pointing this way. Then here it's reversed. The OH basically points to the right, while the H point to the left. And then here, the same thing, the OH will point to the left, while our H will point to the right. And here we can finish off with our wedge going into the board, because just like this group, the primary alcohol also points into the board. So we have CH2OH. Okay. And next we can transform the three-dimensional Fisher projection to our two-dimensional Fisher projection as shown. So we draw our COH, then we simply draw a line going downward, CH2, and then we simply fill in our three um, bonds. So we have our H, OH, and OH. So OH, H, and H. So carbon one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And finally, let's move on to the last one. So the same exact process, we take our energy minimum, transform it into a three-dimensional energy maximum, then we transform that into our three-dimensional Fisher projection, and then we transform that into our two-dimensional Fisher projection. So uh, once again, we rotate these two bonds. So let's begin with our carbon here. We have our OH, we have our H, then we have our two sigma bonds between our carbons. Um, okay, so once we rotate this one, let's say this one will point downward, while this one here, which is pointing out of the board when we rotate, it will point into the board, so we have an OH pointing into the board, and the H is coming out of the board here. The OH is also coming out of the board, so it's going to point into the board. We have the OH here and our H will point out of the board, and we have our COH. So this is our um, energy maximum for the three-dimensional diagram. Now let's transform this into our wedges, our three-dimensional Fisher projection. So we have our COH. As always, we're looking from top to bottom. So this is our eye pointing downward. We're looking downward. So as we begin, this will point into the board. This, these two groups will point out of the board. And these two bonds, we basically make sure they lie along the plane. So we have our uh, coming out of the board. We have the C the C, the C, and then this one will also be going out of the board, C, H, 2, O, H. 
and these are basically our wedges that will be coming out of the board okay so on this one the H is going to the left the OH is going to the right so the OH is here the H is here here the OH is going to the right uh, I'm sorry to the left and here the OH is going to the right. So this is our molecule, the three-dimensional version of the Fisher projection. We can basically transform this into our two-dimensional version by just drawing a single long line and then connecting our uh, other groups. So H, O, H, H, O, H, H. Okay. So basically we were able to transform the energy minimum three dimensional diagrams of the sugar chain molecules, straight chain molecules into their corresponding two dimensional Fisher projection as well as our three dimensional Fisher projections.